go as annoying as you possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten to do so far, and it's really special to me, and you're totally not gonna be able to watch this. <laughs> when I fight a dude, it's not or nothing! <laughs> They will be joining us momentarily. We are just waiting on Sarah. Hey, Powie, come on, it's my microphone. It's mine, I saw it first. No, I told you this one's mine. My God, Both guys. of you, we have a job to do. Will you focus up? Fine. I'll have talkie for you afterwards. I mean, what? we're both thinking the same yeah. thing, I think. Yeah. It's when I fight a dude, it's not or nothing! <laughs> You weren't joking. And then to double down, it's uh, <laughs> you want to get down on this Hayakawa? It'll be the tits. <laughs> the what? I don't necessarily know what the answer is, like the secret to it. I think you have to inherently just love it so much that it doesn't matter. Like you have to just be willing to look crazy. And when it's all done, you're like, yeah, that was so great. And then you high five afterwards and you're like, all right, now I'm back to normal me. Like, it's, I leave sessions, especially for that show, I'm sweating, I am crazy looking, I'm like, <sighs> it's, it's, you know, because you have to be. Um, Speak off your shy show. Yeah, and it's, it's. Unleash the beast. <laughs> it's, because so, you're allowed to, you, like, the best part is you can still go back to being you once you're done with that session. Mm -hmm. But, like, use that as an excuse to, like, you know, you're not you anymore when you're in that booth. You're you're that other character, and mm -hmm. wherever they have to go, you just let yourself go there. I, you know, I, I strongly mm -hmm. feel like uh, Denji's only dance reference would be, like, one of the Peanuts gang. <laughs> you know, so I feel like it would be, like, it would be one of the, like, the little, like... <laughs> like, he wouldn't know what to do with any of his body parts. I remember when I got cast, uh, I told my parents, because, you know, I knew her voice actor, and I'm just all of a sudden getting cast in this massively popular thing. I, so I call my parents, and I tell them, hey, I'm, you know, I'm going to get cast in this show, and it's, it looks like it's going to be really popular, and, like, it could be really good for my career. And they're like, great, what's it called? And I said, it's called Chainsaw Man. <laughs> and they were like, well, you have fun with that. <laughs> For me, I didn't realize it at first, but I was um, basically putting my annoying sister energy in because I have an older brother. And uh, I don't know if y'all have ever been in this position, but like, might also be the ADHD, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> after being like in a spot for a long enough time where like I get antsy, and whenever I get like antsy and I'm like, I want to go, I start being like, <laughs> I like want to slap things, you know? So. That plus wanting to annoy my brother kind of energy um, is what I put into it. So like that's, there's a slight part of her that I do inherently have. And so I just put that forward and I'm like, yes, go as annoying as you possibly can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, my mom, she's, she's like, when I was in a band, she was the one who was like, we're having band practice at our house. Like she's always been the supportive mom of me being a crazy artsy kid. And um, when I started doing voice acting, she, she just started to watch. She'd be like, how do I watch this show or stream this thing? I'm like, you, you really want to watch it? I don't know if you're going to, like, get through a whole season of any kind of anime, <laughs> Mom. And, like, she literally is devoted. Like, she's watched all of the shows I've been in. And she, like, genuinely loves it. And the thing is, she, uh, yeah, big awe. She's the best. She's Aww. the best. She's the coolest. She she's is. the best. And she's so supportive. <laughs> um, but it was really funny because she's, she's not a big fan of gore <laughs> you know she's got kind of a soft stomach there and um when I got this part I the first thing I did when I got the phone call that I got it was I called her and she was just so excited for me and there was this kind of sense of like oh my god I, like this is the biggest thing I've gotten to do so far and it's really special to me and you're totally not going to be able to watch this <laughs> and she was like why and I was like well it's really violent and all this stuff and she's like I don't fucking care. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna watch it. And uh, sorry for the F-bombs, but you know, Denji. Um, they know what we're about. And so cut to us recording the first episode. And like, I know what's in store in this whole thing. And we get to, uh, you know, the scene where Denji is taken uh, 
we'll say taken over by all these zombies and you know this horrible thing happens to him and we wanted to make that scene you know me and mike our director were like this has to be tragic this has to be horrific and scary and brutal and sad and so I'm screaming my lungs out, and I'm doing this whole thing, really trying to make it like traumatic. And we finish, and I'm like, yeah, that felt, that feels right. And then I walk out of the session, I'm going home, and I'm like, oh God, my mom's gonna watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came to the panel, uh, we did a panel in front of 5,000 people at New York Comic Con, mm -hmm. and we premiered the first episode. And she was just like in the sea of people, and I wasn't able to like even sit with her during it, because it was just so scrambly to like get in front of the screen. And the episode goes through, and you know, the whole, this scene comes through, and all this stuff. And I'm just sitting there, like, oh God, Mama, I'm I promise I'm okay. <laughs> and, uh, and I get a text message after uh, when I go backstage, and she's like, I get it, and I love it. Aww. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> I get an email from Mike McFarland saying, hey, can, you ca can I call you? I have some casting information for you. And I'm like, sure, you know, a little unorthodox. I usually just tell me when to come in, but you know, you know why not? Uh, and he calls me and he says, hey, so I've been chosen to be the director of this uh, Chainsaw Man thing. And I was like, okay. And he's like, and uh, we would like you to be our Aki. And I'm like, great, wonderful. <laughs> so, so then I went outside and went out to my car and screamed at the top of my lungs. Um, ah. And it was, uh, this is now happening. <laughs> uh, we are now up to today. If you guys met your fictional variants, how do you think you guys would react to them? I think I'd be okay with it. I think, you know, I, I, when I really think about it, like, we'd be playing video games, you know, we could just, like, go for walks and talk about random stuff, and I feel like, uh, you know, he's not going to really expect very much from my cooking. You know, there's, there's a lot that works in my favor. <laughs> I feel like um, power is really fun when someone else is dealing with her. Um. <laughs> I'm afraid of having to deal with her. <laughs> yes, she smells. Because I actually, I love vegetables, and it would be a pain and a half to try to cook for her. Yeah, that, was, that was one of your, like, greatest line reads, because we know how much you're, you're a full veggie lover, and she's like, foul vegetables, be gone! Oh, I believe I it. had to imagine bell peppers, because I don't like them. <laughs> That's the correct take, though. Bell peppers are the devil. <laughs> I feel like Aki would get really mad at me because I do not. I'm very bad at keeping my living spaces clean. So, but, but he would finally be able to actually get me to get a decent pour over coffee because I try and I try, but I cannot get it right. I believe so, in you, buddy. Is, is, I need your help too, yeah. I got you. Thank you. What did I mess up in the apartment mm -hmm. this time? It's gonna be like, uh... oh, Denji put pineapple on the pizza and Aki's not about it. <laughs> it's good. Listen, you're supposed to have fruit, right? It, it, there is already tomato on there. It's you are a blasphemer. It's super toast of pizza. It is not anything like that. It, it is, is a, so like that. It is an abomination against God. Just put some cinnamon on it. I bet you'll like it. Here's honestly, this one is one that I, that I forgot for a minute, and then I, I rewatched the clip and was like, oh my God, that's one of the best lines ever. <laughs> All for a cat? That's dumb as hell. I know I'd go to some pretty extreme lengths to fondle some titties, though. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we got that line, and I was like... <laughs> and it's like, it's great, because, you know, the turn right after, and it's... Yeah, so that, today. <laughs> I like to cycle through as well. Um, today, we will say, speak, harlot. Either you and Denji copulated last night, or you are lying. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, today. Uh, so when we were recording the episode where Aki's you know, recovering in the hospital, very, very heavy emotional scene. I had to put myself in a very you know, dark place mentally for that. And so, you know, Coming down off of that, when we finished the scene, uh, Mike was just like, hey, uh, Ryan and uh, Sarah have already recorded uh, a scene later on. Do you want to watch that? And I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> and it was the scene where uh, they're both geniuses and trying to fight Kishibe. And what l I just lost it when Sarah said, the South approaches. <laughs> 
when I heard that he was going to be Aki, I knew it was going to change his life. And it made me so happy. So, like, I'm so psyched for you, man. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, when I first got the, you know, was first told that I was going to be Aki, you know, of course, at first I'm excited. And then I'm like, it's like, oh, great, I'm going to be in Chainsaw Man. Oh, God, I'm going to be in Chainsaw Man. <laughs> And, um, then, and then I remember, yeah, you were going to say it. Yeah. yeah, I was terrified out of my mind. Uh, and then, then I find out that I'm going to be a, a going up on stage at New York Comic Con. And I'm just like, I'm just a guy from the suburb of Texas. Like, come on. Um, and so uh, I got to, uh, I was planning to spend time with my uh, grandpa, just kind of out in, you know, the countryside for a little bit. Uh, so that helped, you know, just ease my, ease my anxiety a little bit. Um, and then in the middle of a walk that I was on, um, I get a Twitter DM from this guy, and it's a bunch of clapping emojis. <laughs> and I'm just like, does he know, or? Because the immediate fear is like, am I gonna break an NDA? Am I, am I gonna to, get fired? Am I about to lose this job? Am I about to I even lose the recording? one shot I've had? Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, well, which is why I also didn't just like blurt it out to him. I was like, I'm going to do this gently. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, well, uh, thank you. And it's like, yeah, yeah. And we were all formal about it. And he's, he's just sitting there smirking, like tr waiting for me to put the pieces together. And the, so eventually I'm just like, wait a minute. How do you know that? Wait a minute. That can only mean one thing, dude. That's all that <laughs> so I start freaking out. And he's just like, so that, that was like the moment because like, I was so terrified, but then when I knew that I was going to be up with this guy all the time, I was going to be just fine. So, yeah. Aww. The only thing that I find you really can't do is jump because, one, just like with the mic and also your feet are going to create a sound when you come back down. But aside from that, I mean, you watch those Denji scenes, like imagine I'm more or less doing all of the same stuff. Like I am <laughs> throwing my arms around. I am like screaming like a crazy person. I am like the hardest part is you do have to stay in a certain circumference, but you know, thankfully those parts are loud enough that I can back up a little bit and I have some room to go bananas, but I, I full on embody, I mean, even if you know, you're just throwing a punch or you're having to lift, even if it's just minor stuff, I like it to feel as genuine. If someone has to pick something up, they gotta, you know, pick something up. You know, it's all of that stuff you can put into it. And I think almost like, it's weird because, you know, theater, it's, you have to do kind of almost slightly bigger gestures, right? And on camera, it's like micro movements. In voiceover, it's, it's closer to theater because you have to, you have to create all of that to have it feel like it's coming out of your voice, you know? So it's, it's really interesting. It's a fun balance. Uh, I, I do a very similar thing. Um, I de definitely like to uh, imitate what the characters are doing. Um, and I've knocked it over their mic like many times, um, still counting. I've lost my headphones a bunch where I'm yeah. like swinging oh, yeah. around, they just fly off my head. You know, I'm like, oh, oops, one more, sorry. Oh, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> I've also knocked off the box for the headphone. Oh, box yeah, that yeah, they have yeah, on yeah. The... <laughs> okay, that's not fair, okay? <laughs> to be fair, there's these this little, you know, little headphone box like this. And, and they they're never set like, it they're somewhere. always like loosely on a little table. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, and the, he they the want headphone you to break line is really short, and I need to go like <laughs> every once in a while. So. I bought an extension <laughs> cable for mine. Uh, it would be Pochita, and I would do them like this. <laughs> hey, Listen, Denji, we got a contract we got to start. Eh? <laughs> do me a favor there, Denji. I want you to uh, show me your dreams. <laughs>